All right, guys, welcome to a test of some new weapon systems. We're going to test a melee atlas. We're going to test the Annihilator 1X Ultra AC5 Dakar and two mechs just straight from the factory that also have melee weapons, the Battlemaster 1M and the Hadamore Chi ON Hero Mech. We're dropping in a difficulty 100 assassination mission, and we will see if we can actually survive this mission. I want to see how viable is melee going to be in something like an this atlas. Here you go. If we bring the this axe, group to justice. double axe, so deals 80, area, 80 zero damage per hit. Should be nice. And dealt with before we can pack if it we in. get to ever use it, that is. is As you can see, we got you know short burst medium area. lasers, we got a gauss rifle, we got LRM-20 for some long range firepower. And then of course, the melee right here. Hua! New Let's see how it goes. I have no idea how it's gonna go. I'm showing nothing on scopes that can be identified as our targets. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Ow, ow. Ah, so far the Panthers are hitting me quite a bit. But so are we. Have some lerms. Yank! Alright, you wanna get close to me? I didn't think so. Okay, he does. <laughs> I hit him in the cockpit and he didn't die in one hit. What the hell? Oh, hello. What the oh, okay. We're doing fisticuffs now. Okay, there we go. That is too far away. Come back here. Come back. Come back. Fight me like a man, you mouse. There we go. <laughs> Here comes the Gauss. Bonk. Here comes the X. There's the X. Here comes the X again. Hang on, hang on. Need to be closer. Whoa! He's dead, Jim. But, as you can see, if you look at the health of my mech, you will see something that we have been dreading, unfortunately. And it's exactly happening. Look how much damage I'm taking for this. For this melee. Uh, I just hit you with 80 damage in the cockpit and you're not dead. That's something seems to be wrong. This doesn't do 80 damage. There must be something bugged here. No way any of this did any damage. Yeah, this is my mech by the way now. Um, imagine how this Atlas looks if it doesn't have the melee weapon and doesn't try to use the melee weapon. Um, I'm gonna say there's something wrong with the melee damage here. If this axe does 80 damage, Maybe it got split by cockpit and, and CT or something, which doesn't make sense. It should always do the full damage to the one component it actually hits. But this is, feels terrible. Down. Also, look at the target focus, by the way. Same thing that I always said about Mech Warrior Online melee or close range weapons. Your AI mates are not going to take any damage and you're going to take all the damage. Because you're up and close and personal, right? So, it's not looking good for the melee weapons right now. I just found an enemy atlas. Watch yourself. We'll try to fight it as long as possible, then we switch over to the Annihilator. Oh, okay. uh, hello, Lurums? Okay. Oh. Wow! dead? Alright. Oh! I just lost my axe. Well, this mech is just fucked. Alright. Let's go for the uh, Hatamoto Chi, I guess. Could use a hand over here. Component lost. Yep, yeah, you're getting shot to hell. I see that. There is our Atlas going down already. I'm going on to the King Crab. Here we go. We're in range. Katana! Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Shut down, unfortunately. Wow, awesome shot. We can't switch Max in shutdown still. That's bad. There's the Atlas. I feel like the SM6 are gonna do more for us in the melee weapons though, but let's see. We're going in range. Here we are. One more shot. We can the melee weapons. Hua! What? Hua! Hua! Oh, and of course the Atlas is fighting back. Yep. He's also got melee weapons. Yep. This is very effective. <laughs> this too easy. 
There we go. That Atlas had no melee weapons and fought back against us quite nicely. Oh, there's another Atlas. Okay, let's switch to the Annihilator. Let's see how the Annihilator feels instead, okay? There's a guy in my back right now that's shooting me all this time. Alright, buddy. Let's see how long he lives against this. Now let's get you all home. Head to the point. I think I just lost half my weapons. Alright. Uh, the Battlemaster that I've not been piloting, by the way, is still pristine. Alright, Battlemaster. Do it! Fire everything! Uh, assault Claymore! Whoa! Whoa! That felt better. But the only reason why it felt better is because there weren't as many enemies around that hit you in the back and destroy you. Oh, we're moving off to the extraction point. What's our verdict on the melee weapons? I think the verdict is... I don't know if it's high reward, but it's definitely extreme risk. And um, it really depends on who you're playing with. If you're playing with just AI teammates, you gotta be super careful. You gotta make sure that they engage first before you do anything else. Um, you can never ever lead a push because the enemy AI is just going to focus you and you're just gonna die. So... <sighs> Will I be using a lot of melee weapons in the future in this game? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they can be fun, yes, but they're too gimmicky and they don't do enough for what they need to do. To offset the dangers of having to get in close and personal. So that's my verdict right now. It doesn't mean the verdict can't change, but right now... <laughs> that Atlas dealt 1800 damage. <laughs> yep, we were boxing and hitting quite a lot. We also took 1500 damage. How is that even possible? That doesn't seem... Like something seems off here. I think the numbers from the Anai that got added onto the Atlas. Yeah, the numbers got added. So, um, this whole stats screen is completely useless if you just add the numbers from the other pilots that get piloted on top of my mech because I, I'm the pilot on that mech, right? So, these stats are completely borked. Never mind. Forget these stats, they're completely borked. These are elite pilots, by the way. 300 damage, 300 damage, 100 damage. Elite pilots. 2000 DTB. Yeah, okay. So, what do you guys think about the melee uh, in Mech Warrior 5 Mercs with the new weapons and the new mechs? Let me know in the comments. I would be really interested to read your feedback. All right, guys, we are just looking at some comments in chat. Um, Finkhawk saying, yeah. I like the melee weapons as a backup, but won't rely on them. I know, thank you for the Prime and the six months. Rover saying they can be good on mechs with limited hard points, like those chargers, for example. But then again, why would you use the mechs with uh, those limited hard points? Would be his, his own counter argument. Validov is saying the AI is bad and fundamentally poorly made, and melee weapons are fine in theory, but the issue with the AI would be that they focus the most damaging person, and that would be the player. If the entire lens is players with melee weapons, it's going to be great. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was saying in the video that I made. Uh, important information before you launch Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries, the, uh, the Hatchet uh, DLC. <laughs> I call it the Hatchet DLC, Call to Arms. Play it with your friends, because if you have four friends together, just, just, going, just going Neanderthal on anything enemy, that can be a lot of fun. But if you're playing it with the AI, I feel that melee weapons are not going to be the play. You want range and you want firepower at range. Yeah. Exactly, because it shifts the aggro around. Whereas if you're just playing solo with the AI lance mates, the enemy AI is just going to focus you because you're doing the most damage and uh, that's just going to destroy you. And that's what ultimately kills the melee weapon portion of this DLC for me. The more they add to MW5, the more obvious it is that they balance for a squad of four players and not one player and three AI. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I think if we do if we do this game, I think co-op might be the way to do it. If you go melee heavy, or if you go melee at all, you want to go co-op, 
where people share aggro. Whereas Landsmate AI is still gonna be, for lack of a better term, dumb as bread. So that's where that's where the problems happen, unfortunately. It also felt like it didn't really do full damage to just one component, especially if you hit something like the cockpit. It felt like I hit. I, it felt like like this the strike not only hits the cockpit but also the CTA as well, and the damage gets split between the two, which um, of course makes sense on the one side, but on the other side it just also again takes away from like the potential damage impact of those melee weapons. And I think we also had that when an enemy hatchet man struck me, hit me cockpit and and CTA as well. The other AI is so bad you have almost got a co-op, yeah. Like especially in the in the higher difficulty missions, um, unfortunately. So I think it's gonna be a nice add-on and it could be it could be fun when you're playing in co-op. But for a solo player, um it's some gimmicky stuff added on that ultimately doesn't provide a lot of value. You're gonna get new toys and everything, sure. But um I don't know. They made a DLC based on the on a on a in-game mechanic that was already problematic from the get-go. Um, I think they just they just heard people like melee. Hey, so let's make a DLC just with melee stuff. And uh, I think a lot of people are gonna realize that um, the whole idea behind melee is really cool, but it fails when you have to depend on your AI, which is on uh, as soon as the missions get a little bit harder. Um, or you have to play around it. You have to try to play around it. That's that's of course a viable point. You have to try and play around it. Like not not rush in. Let your AI mates go first, and then go in second line, and then uh, start fighting from there. Um, then you will have at least a a longer life. And then it's going to be a little bit like like high risk, high reward. Although I have to say, um, if you consider melee high risk, high reward, then just running an SRM bullet, just running any hard hitting mech is going to be. Mm medium to low risk and high reward so again like it's difficult to balance i don't know <laughs> rob was saying maybe that's just to prove to the melee fanboys who want to have it at mwo that's a bad idea <laughs> i don't think so no i don't think so i think i think they they wanted to add some some fun mechanics to the game uh, or build on some fun mechanic in the game which was the melee but um the fact that ai pilots instantly punch you back uh combined with the the aggro system just makes it really hard to use and i think it's best like melee weapons are probably best used if you play with three friends and that should be that's what some sonntag as we say in german that should be it yeah let me know what you think